As fighting rages on in the North Kivu region of the Democratic Republic of Congo, war victims continue to flock to the Bethesda Hospital Surgery Center in Goma. This lady was lucky to have made it there. Since the first M23 rebel uprising, the International Committee of the Red Cross has run an operating room at the center to provide free treatment for the wounded. The bomb went off in my house and killed my husband. He died, but I got away with a lot of injuries on my right leg from the shrapnel. The local Red Cross tried to take me to the hospital, but no one wanted to treat me because the nurses were also fleeing. As Faraha recovers from her injuries, She's dealing not only with the death of her husband, but has to worry about the future of her two small children born at the hospital. We suggested that we should deliver the children because we had to put her in traction to treat her fractured femur. When I spoke with her, she was already aware that her husband had died in the incident, but what remained was her great strength, or perhaps her great concern for her children, the fate of her children. Nine people have been treated at the centre in the past few weeks, but the Red Cross says most of the wounded remain stranded in combat zones. Even if they're injured, I don't think they're going to have access to health care at the moment. So we may have a lot of injured once the conflict settles down, or if there's a humanitarian corridor that opens for the injured to get here. We will probably have many wounded here. With tens of thousands of people displaced by fighting between the M23 militia and government troops, the East African community is engaged in efforts to restore peace and security in the eastern DRC, plagued by decades of war.